these markers. I've been using these markers for like two years. And I love drawing on your face. For some reason, that's something I love to do. And so I'm going to do it today. And hopefully you let me do it. And hopefully I pick the right color. Because, you know, great minds think alike. So hopefully we're on the right color, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the marker up close and personal on your face. And I'm going to draw on your face. I'm going to draw different shapes, different numbers, letters, items, anything you can think of. I'm going to put it on your face, okay? But one rule, we're not going to use the dark colors or like brown, gray, black. We're going to use the bright yellow, green, blue, orange, red, purple, pink. We're going to use those, okay? That's the only rule I have. And hello, by the way, if you don't know me. <laughs> My name is Chase, and I like making sounds. So if you could just hold on for two seconds while I pull the colorful markers out, and so we can leave the non-colorful ones. Not saying black and brown and gray aren't colors, but that's not the ones we want to draw on your face, okay? So we're pulling out the the cool colors. I think I'm missing purple. Purple. All right. So you know what? Since purple was the last one, purple, 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 purple. Since purple was the last one that we pulled out. start with purple. I try to draw things that are this color in real life, um, as in like an eggplant. Might not want to draw that on your face. Uh, people might take it the wrong way. Um, a grape. I think last time I did this video, I asked people what is purple in real life, and I had comments like grape, eggplant, uh, someone named something else. I'm like, because I drew a blank, but today we're going to draw a little bitty grape on your upper cheek right here, like under your eye, okay? Okay, so, if you would just hold still, if you'll allow me, I'm just going to draw a little grape, okay, under your eye. It's not going to be very big, it's just going to be big enough where I can, I can see it and everyone else can see it, okay? Okay, it doesn't look like my marker wants to focus since I'm on the side right here. Here, let's see if we can do it like this. Nope, marker's just not going to focus. So, we're just going to draw, draw. Actually, I just noticed your grape will match this light right here. Perfect, right? Perfecto. So, we got the grape down on your keep it on this side it's on this side okay we got the grape down on this side now now that we got the purple out of the way do we want to do orange or red next and i think you can guess what we're going to draw with orange or red if you guessed an apple or an orange you were incorrect though but we're going to do orange but we're not going to draw an orange okay with this orange marker face your face now we're gonna do it right here so right here so I need you I'm gonna need you to turn a little bit and we're going to draw a sword okay so not a detailed sword it's gonna be like a line the hilt is that what it's called the hilt line the handle and then the sword of it okay so just hold still Oh, now it wants to focus. <laughs> Hold still. And so I'm going to draw the little bitty line. Right here. The little bitty line. Little bitty line. Then the hilt. Or the handle. The handle. 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 And then the actual blade part of the sword. The blade part. <laughs> and there we go. Now you have a grape under your eye right here. Like a teardrop grape. Um, and then you have the orange. 
orange sword right here, okay? So, we got purple and orange out the way. Now, since I mentioned red, we're not going to use red this next time. Let's use yellow. Ye yeah, yellow. Let's use yellow. Right here, yellow. Yellow. And I'm trying to think, do I really want to draw the sun? stars 
like third graders draw their stars where they do the up, down, across, across, across. So I draw my stars like that. If you don't, hats off to you because it's very hard to draw a star without doing this. So I'm doing this. And you know, we can color it in a little bit. We can shade it in. I don't see why we shouldn't. just as sharp as it ever was. Well, hopefully you let me draw on your face again in the future. I always love doing it. It's one of my favorite things to do is just draw on people. Um, it's like back when I was in middle school and high school. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed being drawn on. <laughs> and I will see you later. Have a great night.